I did say a little more so, but I didn't say by much. Um, this is immediately afterwards. So, if this is what Irving meant by answers. I'm not sure, but obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella, and that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. You're a bit too invested, Chris. I don't mean anyone would know that about you. Sorry, I'm looking for things. I don't remember if there's anything in here besides the sun and trip and the emblem. It doesn't investigate. What are we investigating? Chris, investigate. Water purifiers. Oh yeah. Okay. I suppose. Ah. Uh, yes, how do they survive underground? That. Big hole in the ceiling that lets in the sun. Oh, document from Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal, number one, 1966. December 4, Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumour or a legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognise the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesised that a virus, hereto unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so perspic... I don't know that word. What word is that? Perspicacious. Pers Perspicacious? Is that right? I don't know. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in the flower was labelled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the Dupire. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wanted to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secret of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. February 12. We've hit a metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and it grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when the major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they are grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23. We have made no progress. We have tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature and light exposure, all with no success. I've gotten into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction of the research was taking. During this debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy motion of starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there is no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Ah! Shove okay. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at all these documents. Oh. Oh, liquors. I may have to avoid them. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal Number 2. 1968. April 15. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know these routine attacks by the Ndipaya are really going to rack my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Ndipaya, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. August 19. Finally, some good news. 
We learned that they were able to chase away the Jupiah off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, then there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said that he plans to construct research facilities at the site, which will expedite our research into the virus. We hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training centre. We were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realised it was the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope that African research facilities get built soon. So now, I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Dr. Sp- uh, He wasn't a doctor. Mr. Spencer. He's a benefactor. I agree that this is the best course of action. I have to stop making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. September 29. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's been a good thing that Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the Ndipaya at bay. But the thing that gets on my nerves is the most the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from a progenitor flower so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, I can if I focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. nineteen sixty nine. June 15. The research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella Africa Research Centre, not some pile of tents. But I've come to the realisation that in the past nine months, the facilities are too small for our needs. We must make them larger, more suitable for research. Then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line in our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. In a rare turn of events, that old skin flint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Research Centre Director Brandon's Journal, 1998. November 16. We've closed down the research centre. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way when I heard that the Arclay facility in Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I've spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus to all of Umbrella's laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella Headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research centre where I've spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it is too late to have any semblance of a life again. I want that. Telegram from James Marcus. T-Virus Development Day Success, January 13, 1978, J. Marcus. Alright, that was a right waste of time. I like memos, I'm sorry. Invoice copy. Umbrella Training Facility, Dr. James Marcus. Five cases of the progenitor sample, December 15, 1977, Africa. Research Centre Director, Brandon Bailey. Oh, Brandon. I think there's more memes. I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. You've just read all of that. That's what the progenitor virus comes from. Chris! This is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. <sighs> We're finally getting somewhere. Chris, comprehend what you read. Tricer Research in Miguel's Journal Number 1, February 19. 
When I heard it was the laboratory used by Umbrella in Africa, my expectations were raised, to say the least. But when I saw it, well, it's a lab in name only. I don't know how Umbrella ever used it, and Lord knows her tricer could possibly have any use for it. The place was abandoned long ago, so there's nothing there of any value to us. Not one piece of lab equipment remains, at least nothing that still works. I can't say I'm surprised, because I half expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would be no, would have been no need to come to this rundown umbrella facility anyway. We already have the samples of the T virus and the G virus, the T Veronica virus, and even the last plague as parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have that damned progenitor virus, but we finally got our hands on it. Hopefully, this will give us that much-needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait for start working on it. March seven. I wonder who came up with the name Licker for those creatures. I mean, when you see its long tongue, you know that it's the perfect name. But for researchers like me, B.O.W.s like Lickers are just a pain in the ass. If I said Lickers were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. B.O.W.s that were created using the T-Virus don't seem to show much improvement when the progenitor virus is administered. I mean, their abilities show some slight improvements, for example, the sense of smell seems more or less improved. But that's all that we've got so far. They're still blind as an old lady, and they're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there's little demand for liquors on the B.O.W. market, I guess things aren't all that mad. An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow and we'll finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I would just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks that he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and it's good at, it's good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a sedative so I could give it to him. But forget all that. What matters is that I should be back home within the next few days, and when I get back I'll give you a call. We've got to go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. Alright, I'm sorry. I love memos. I love the little daily life bits. They're so nice. Okay, I... Time to worry about the liquors. I've now that I've spent ten minutes reading. have to break it to get out, I'm sorry. Shiver. Ah. 
I don't know how I didn't get hit once. Don't let them free. Shiver. Why would you do that? I hear them clicking still. Right. Thank okay. God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. No, we wouldn't. But I think that's what we're coming up on, isn't it? There's more of them here. But if we're quiet, Shiver. If we're quiet, I said. We should be fine. I don't think they'll notice us. I guess their senses are weak. Just to be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. Hurry! Right now. Yes, you can. Hurry. Dying, Trevor. You need to be careful. Come on. Thanks, Let's go, Shiva. Shiva. Made me save you twice. They made me kick the door open. You grab it. Roger. Give. I owe you one. There. I owe. Oh. Oh. You ate. I think the crab B O W. It's not a healthy disposal method for your subjects. You should be putting them in the incinerator. What have they done? Directly. Look at you going through their searches. I 
did that on accident, Grace. She touched its legs, right? I don't know, bugger. Shiver. We may have to die. Get it? No. We're loading, Trevor. Yes, 
three times sounds good. get some answers. Alright, um, so, I oh, I dodged all the liquors. Um, it really doesn't want you to read the memos. That's a problem. It's a big problem. I don't like that much. Uh. Then. What are we going to do? anything because I didn't kill anything so this was the facility Excel was talking about she's got us under surveillance I can almost guarantee she sent that VOW to eliminate us I, you can ask her about I, that I, and about Jill once we find her all right let's find her then document test subject data test subject Caucasian female Eye colour blue. Subjects has been in a medically induced stasis for an extended period. All vital signs including heart rate, respiration, blood pressure and temperature are within normal values. A pigmentation abnorm abnormality has been observed. Effect of abnormality is limited to cranial hair follicles. In addition, slight skin whitening etoliation has been observed. Hmm. They just decided to turn her blonde for no reason. So they had to have a file about it. I can't remember when we fight Excella. Maybe at the end of this one. No, I have that. I have. I have enough for now.
bug I've missed. Come here. Come here, you. Something. Get to him from there. Fair Shiva, you didn't really help in that situation. Pick us up. All that you made me write all of those. Spartan Shiver. Roger. 
up, I'm dying. You need to be careful. Help, I'm dying again. the scary ones by Sheva no he's going to use that with a red herb Your fault, Sheva. Ah, just burn. And you need to not grab it. I owe you one. Next time, listen. She won't. She won't listen. Can we go now? fight Excella. I don't remember if it's at the end of this chapter or not. I don't remember. But yeah, get closer, Chris. Shiver, if you start shooting them, we are not friends. I will leave you. Oh, bugger, they've heard her. <sighs> You've done that yourself. Mm. 
mostly because I'm afraid that Excel is going to be soon. You don't need that much ammo. So next time, don't get caught. Take it. Okay. I'll have this in case you don't listen to me again. Are you running? Come on. <sighs> She's not make it easy for me. I got a rifle, yeah. Seventeen rounds. It's not a lot. Look at you. There's no car up here, shove it! I don't like these. Mostly because I've just mucked that all up. Stomp you on the head.
hiding in the corner. I don't need. Give. Thanks, partner. And then give me. I need ammo. Come on. Use this. Thank you. I need the rifle ammo. Looks like we have to go this way. I've left the books. See it over there. Hurry! Okay. Take it, Roger. Don't use it so soon, share that. Jump down. My favourite BSA emblem is over here, mostly because who in the world would think to look here? Hold on, I'll show you. I'm not going to get it because I'll waste ammo doing it, but it's in here. Look! Silly. You grab it. Okay. I don't need another machine gun. It powers off. Ow! Ow! No thank you game. Reapers. I remember the Reapers. The Reapers remember me. No they don't. Right, okay. Come and pick this up, Shiver. Take it. Okay. Reapers, this? probably. Why would they need these, do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. Come on, Roger. you grab it. Okay. Machine guns are probably the best thing to go up against troopers with, only because they are so rapid fire. Oh, I haven't got one, but hopefully, Shavers ammunition will oh, help here. Oh, there, wrong way. 
I got so distracted about being around where the reapers were. Oh, that noise. Don't shiver. I don't like reapers. They look over large cockroaches. Pull the lever. And this is the incinerator. Should we are headed to? No, there we go. Oh, bugger. Shiver, a little help, please. You're not helpful whatsoever. Stop it for good measure. There's no point in wasting. Ah. Maybe the Excella fight isn't until chapter six. So this is. everything I want. You grab it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Pick up all Take of the incendiary nights. Can I combine anything? In exchange. Give me an this. And I'll drop it. Yes, I don't want to, but this is more important. I think we're about to go up against a Roboros. Shiver, did you leave something I told you not to leave? This is all boss. Sheva. Where's Jill? Jill, Jill, Jill. 
He's like a broken record, you know that? Mm -hmm. Just as single-minded as he said. You've spent so long trying to track down Ouroboros. Well, here, enjoy. Never mind that we've already fought Ouroboros. And you're planning on selling it to terrorists? Hmm, good guess, but no. While it does resemble the BOW based on the progenitor virus, I have no intention of selling it to terrorists. Then what are you using it for? World domination. Just a guess. Evolution. It's a philosopher's stone, one that will choose through DNA who shall proceed to the next stage. My vision and his combined now made a reality. Evolution? What are you talking about? Oh, you'll find us soon enough. Everyone will. Looks like he wasn't worthy. Only the chosen ones are fit for the coming new world. Stella, wait! Right, okay, I need to... Look these over. Uh, there's the a memo in there. I see it. Although you don't let me forget to to play with the play with the memo. I need the ne ah I love memos. Turn that on. Okay. Yes, Chris. I see. Has it picked one up yet? Yes. Get close enough to it. No, I can't get past that bomb of it. Then destroy it, Chiba.
got hurt. Then take it out, Sheva. Are you coming? Why did you go the extra long way? Got any health items? Ah, damn, I was right there next to a first aid spray. I don't need that for right now. Bye. Flame rounds, yes. Two flame rounds and more first aid sprays. Organise. Take out that, take out that. that for me. Here Okay.
Look at my accuracy for that. That was awful. Oh my. Right, that's the end of chapter five, I believe. Maybe? I don't know. I'm sorry, three parts or two parts to chapter five? I think there may be three. Yeah, we'll see. How's one? So yeah, am I? about evolution and being worthy. What does she mean? Something about a philosopher's stone and selecting DNA. It doesn't matter what she says. She's just a terrorist. End of story. We can't risk Uroboros getting out of here and infecting people. Then let's go take care of business. Where is the cabinet with the first aid spray in it? She picked up, Shiva. in here to read the document I see. You grab it. Roger. And have this. Where's my document? Where is it? There it is. Directions for the use of Ouroboros virus. Attention, this instruction manual contains important information concerning the proper handling and use of the Ouroboros virus. Using the virus for anything outside the uses listed in this manual could result in the expiration of the handler. Using the virus for anything outside the uses listed in this manual could result in the expiration of those within the handler's vicinity. Administration of the virus to a test subject usually results in the dissolution, so carefully suggest you'll select your test subjects. When using this virus, please follow the instructions in this manual carefully. Virus dosage is in proportionate to the test subject's weight. Please use the following chart. 60 kilograms or above, one bottle. 40 to 60, two thirds bottle. 20 to 40, one half bottle. 20 kilograms or less, one third bottle. After injection of the virus, a test subject may experience some or all the following symptoms. Sweating, labored breathing, delirium and or confusion. After being administered, the virus will recognize and adapt to the test subject's DNA. During that time, the virus will enter a state of dormancy. When it is unsuccessful in adapting to the subject's DNA, it will begin to assimilate organic matter from its immediate environment in order to fuel its growth. The immediate area around the un unsuccessful adaptation is extremely volatile. 
Researchers should be advised to evacuate the vicinity of the test subject's corpse or incinerate it to prevent its spread. The virus will transform the cells inside the test subject's body into black leech-like pustules and then expel them through the skin surface, consuming the subject completely. This creature displays only primitive intelligence and will search for and prey upon organic matter to feel its growth. Individually, these pustules are not a threat, but as a collective, they become dangerous to other living organisms and will try to feed on them. Please take extreme caution when handling the virus. If the virus does adapt to the test subject's DNA, you are required to report it to the proper section immediately. In the case of rejection of the subject's DNA, or if there is any complication disposing of the corpse, please contact the section listed on the attached paper. You will then be instructed on how to deal with your situation. You don't. You don't deal with your situation. Uh. Where do we go? I don't... Okay. Wait. No. I thought I saw Emmy. I didn't. I didn't see Emmy. You grab it. Roger. I don't want to use the rifle. It's rather dangerous. Shotgun shells, incendiary grenade. You grab it. Roger. got the uh Thanks. I haven't got the grenade launcher out. Well, short shiver. See that? Bugger! I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't fast enough. Bugger. Organize. Sell that.
Yeah. It's not very fair. I don't think that reapers have instant kill. Um, attacks. But you know, it wouldn't be a video game if it were fair the entire time. I think. And that was one rather indicative. Trait of survivor horrors. And in the grand scheme of things, it could be much more like Silent Hill. In which I mean there are rooms in Silent Hill meant specifically to trick you. Thanks. And to die. For you to die in. See you there. Sheva, get him. Thank you. Right, okay. We will see if electric grounds help. You would think so if it gave it to you just before. Bye, Sheva. If it is effective, I just need to use it better. I tried to tell her to jump and he got rude. I hope you're dead now. Surely you're just annoying at this point. Done. I owe you one. Such is my dilemma. I want that gun. I don't have room for it. Take it, Roger.
exchange this for me. Thank you. Pull the lever, Chris. I didn't turn away fast enough. I need more electric crown. again oh if this doesn't work this time I'm not doing it again I'll stop I promise I'll do it it's a lot to ask for There's so many red herbs around here. I haven't got a green one. Chef has already got a great, uh, red one. Oh, it's sleepy. I'll leave that here in case I need it. Give me your stain.
Thank you. Right, okay. Rifle ammo. Hush. Well done. Right, I have a checkpoint now. I'm not too keen on doing all of that again. You grab it. Okay. Take it. Okay. I don't have room for either of that. Put up a lever. So I thought you would have gotten a checkpoint for that. But I suppose not. Do you step ahead of you, Sheva? I don't like that I can't pick up that magnum ammo. Give me a grenade. Take this. I owe you one. Just had to do a bit of an angling, that's all. I don't know 
Oh, they have rocket launchers. I see you. Causing me trouble. Bugger. Where are they? I have a problem, Shiva. Get everyone, please. That. I want the necklace, and I want all of these things. Take this. Take it. Okay. No, I don't have room. I need ammo. Use this. I don't have the room, Shiva. Are we ready? Yes, I remember. I recall quite nicely. How long 
is this video? It's going to be two hours long. Oh my. Okay. If I recall correctly, I only have to get the ones in the middle when they stop it. Other than that, if I keep moving, I should be fine. There, got him. That's difficult. Oh, my ears itchy. Ah, uh, okay. We're fine, we're all right. I think there's two this time, right? Him. Is that no, I suppose there's only one. you get then? <gasps> Shut up! You let him do that, Shut up. Right, come on. Find out. We're gonna have to lower that bridge. Then we need to locate the controls. Maybe they're in that building. Take it. Okay. I think I might. How does she have? No, she doesn't have enough. It's going to say I think I might send her up there, but I don't think she has enough ammo. 
Sheva. Roger. I'm dying. Okay, that was a poor plan. I think acid rounds are what we're supposed to be using. I have some. Just not on me. I'm sorry, this may very well end up being a two hour video. Uh, we don't want electric rounds, we want acid rounds. Combine it with that and then remove those and give me more acid rounds. Okay, ready. Come on. Okay. Sheva. Roger. That's exactly what we want. We want acid rounds. Okay. Let go of me. as well. Right, okay. Bugger. Okay.
Well done, Chris. That's frightening. You need to do 22 rounds. I missed some, but for the most part, that was 22 rounds of work. There. Alright. Push this unscathed. You're welcome, Sheva. Right, Shiver. Come here. Come on. Okay. Take it. Okay. You grab it. Roger. And then we go forward. And this should be the end of chapter five here beyond here, I think. Unless I'm playing chapter six and I just don't notice. Seven needs ammo. Come up here. Take it, Roger. Right. Okay. Time to go. Are you okay? Did you just? Oh, okay. Thanks. There. You're welcome. playing around. We want some answers. You haven't changed. It's me, Chris. What? So sad. Are you sure that's her? The one and only.
Please don't shoot me, Jill. It's not fair. I'm coming. Come on. Down here. A bit faster, please. I'm under time constraints. Where are you going? Ow! Your future hinges upon this fight. We'll never win like this. Time to change tactics. We should hide. Like that Jill's with him. Jill, go back into the lobby. You can't hide forever. I can't. Found you. Uh, you didn't find me, I found you. elsewhere Okay. Where are you? Ah, there you are. How do you see me? You're merely postponing the inevitable. Ah! That was not fair, sir. That is not fair, sir. Let go of me. Wesker, this is overkill, Wesker. Be nice. Ever help? 
Sheva, he's going to kill me. Sheva, he's killed me. <sighs> okay. I organize so yes. I want to save my rocket launcher for Excella because I think I'm gonna make the fight so much easier. Oh, but what if move give move? What if I buy a second rocket launcher? And I use that against Whisker. That sounds like a lovely plan. Yeah, let's do that. This will be fun. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. No bad to play with you. Come here. Put your samurai edge away. Don't you wag your finger at me. You ruined the plan. You ruined the plan, Wesker. I will forever maintain it's your fault. She comes to approach me to to heal me, and then come here. We'll never win like this. Time to change tactics. Oh, bugger, Shiva! Come on. There's no point. Got yourself in a spot of trouble. You can't hide forever. Ah, I got him. Shiver. 
I expected more of a challenge after all this time, Chris. How disappointing. Yes. Who's calling you? Is it Excella? stop! It's over two hours. I am so sorry. Let's go downstairs. Jill, what are you doing? Stop this, Jill, answer me. Ah, bugger. We have to get that device off her chest. All right. Now, pull it down. It's me, Chris. Don't you recognize me? I'm coming. Come on, snap out of it. I shouldn't be reckless. Don't do this, Jill. Sheva. Thank you. Me, please. It's not very nice. No. Stop this, Jill. Answer me. Hold on, I want this. Hurt yourself. Got it. Yes, that means we can stop this video. Ah, <sighs> oh, two hours, ten minutes. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might leave it as is because it is one chapter. Jill. I'll shut up. Jill. Are you all right? Oh, Chris. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're Sheva, right? Yes. I couldn't control my actions. God, I was still aware. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. Thank you. Listen, 
I'm gonna be all right. You do need to stop him. We can't just leave you here. You have to. This is your only chance. If Wesker succeeds, Uroboros will be spread across the globe. Millions will die. Oh, yeah, but... I'm all right. You need to stop him. Chris, you're the only one who can. Before it's too late. Don't you trust your partner? Okay, don't look at my score. Oh, bugger. I thought this was the end. Chris? <sighs> I'm alright. Over there. Time to put an end to this. Let's go. Okay, now I don't look at my score. And my accuracy's fine. Alright. Uh let's stop. <laughs> two hours and fifteen minutes. It's a whole hour longer than I usually want a video to be. Okay. I'm ending this now.